Hello everybody and welcome to a review of 2.5 Dimensional Seduction Episode 10 review. Now, you know what's funny about this? We have come a long way when it comes to rivalries in anime. There has been a plethora of rivals throughout our, our enjoyous life when we watch shows. Movies, anime, wrestling, you name it. We have seen so many rivalries that... It jolts in our mind as one of the greatest rivalries of all time. The Naruto Sasuke's of the world, the Goku versus Vegeta of the world, the Light and L of the world. Yeah, the Light and L of the world. The rom-coms always have rivalries too. You know, if we're going like, I'll say Chizu and Mami rivalry, I can see that. Our, um, and in wrestling too, like the CM Punk, Drew McIntyre rivalry. And there are some other rivalries we talk about too. I mean, you got the Deku and Bakugo rivalry. You got the, the sisters from Kill I Kill, they all rivalry. I forgot Ryoko and the other guy, I forgot her freaking name. But my point is there are a plethora of rivals and we talk about it on a regular, regular basis. Like what is the best rivalry of all time? And in this episode, it's all about the old school versus new school. Kind of like Wildin' Out. You know, we got the old school versus new school. And in the world of cosplaying, no matter how old you are, no matter how many years of experience you may have, cosplaying is a thing. And cosplaying brings life to many others. Cosplay brings the good. Cosplay brings the bad. And cosplay makes you feel who you are. And in this case, we have got it. So without further ado, let's get right to it with episode 10 review of, sorry, of 2.5 Dimensional Seduction. Okay, now, to bar I do my review, I just want to point things out here. Let me just put this pin here just to, just to make sure I do this right, because to represent this show. To make sure I do this right, take a look at this. A pin of the 2.5 Dimensional Seduction I got from Anime NYC. And like I said, every time I talk about this show, I'm right now going to do a pin. I'm actually going to put a pin on this just to represent the show. Okay, now let's get right to it. You know, this was a battle between two iconic cosplayers. Remember I did my this remember in my introduction? I did say we we're gonna have a battle, and we did. Last week was so many emotions. This was an intense episode. We just got a, we got a battle between two cosplayers of our generation. Past generation, the new generation. Millennials versus Gen X. Old school versus new school. Who is dominating the, the, the competition in terms of cosplaying? Who is the best? Not, not one of the best, but the best cosplayer of all time. It's like the battle of the goats. Who is the goat? Who is the GOAT? Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes? Tom freaking Brady. Or Michael Jordan or LeBron. <laughs> Michael, Michael fucking Jordan is the GOAT. And that's what it is. That's what this is in the sports of cosplay. I think cosplay should be in the Olympics. I think cosplay should be in the Olympics. So you got Nogami, aka 753, putting on her putting on her performance. And then here come Mario Senpai. Dressing up in her famous cosplay of all time. One of the four queens of cosplay. And she put on a show. You have one girl who is new and draw millions. Who could draw millions? But then you have this other, but then you have Mari Senpai who literally can draw billions. So basically, you have one who's millions, but you got one who billions. You got one who got like, let's say, four championships. This guy, this one got six. And it's still on and it's still on. That's what this battle was. It wasn't about just showing off. No, no, no. It wasn't about like how many views you can get. It's not about that. This was about who is about like why you do cosplay. It doesn't matter how many fans. And her fans just going over to her. And I'm like, uh-huh. The battles, yep. Yep, it's done. And it did, it, she did all this just for Risa to dress up in her lily form, but in a golf form. The golf form is when she had the black strain on the blonde hair. That's that, that was that form. Now, as we get in towards the competition, we got to see Nogami's backstories, uh, Nogami's backstory as to why she loves cosplaying and why her, her heated rival towards, towards Mari. 
Apparently, her backstory is like, she's not drawing any attention. Sorry. She's not drawing any attention. Everyone likes Mari Senpai. Everyone likes her, dead Nagami, and she tried. But then she got the gig, the pros, you know, they call her to be part of the business. She wants to go pro just to prove a point. And her backstory is even more because we find out that that when she she loves her 2D characters. But then she realized she was all fat and everything. You know this, you know what this reminds me of? It literally reminds me of that show, Kiss Him Not Me. Go watch that show, Kiss Him Not Me. You know that show, the first episode when the girl who's into boy love, her favorite husband died, and then she woke up not eating for days, she shamed skinny. It's like her. So when her boyfriend in a 2D uh crashed and died on her Nintendo Switch, she looked at her face, she's like, oh, that's me? All this time, this is how I've been looking? And so for years and years, three years, she has been working hard, training, uh, going on a diet. She does everything to make it look like the girl from the show. I mean, from the game. And then when she go out cosplaying, she sees it. I mean, she finds a smile. That's the key. That was the reason. But then as she goes on, she realizes cosplaying is... There's nothing for me. It's just, This is just stupid. It's boring. I want to go where the money is. I want to prove to everybody that I'm the best cosplayer in the world. And I don't care what I am. I don't give a fuck who I dress up as. I want to dress up as a famous cosplayer and I don't give a fuck. That's that's no Nagami's backstory. And it's sad because, again, she doesn't care about making friends. All she does wants to do is cosplay. But that's the thing about Nagami. She wants to know... That's the thing about Nagami, a.k.a. 753. She does cosplay, but never have a heart for cosplaying. It's like, it's like saying, I love this series, but I don't have the heart for this series. I just, just watch it. That's, well, it's the wrong analogy, wrong, wrong analogy. But you get the point. You get the point when it comes to cosplaying. That's the thing. And this show, this episode actually showed me just how tense and how stressed cosplaying is. Cosplaying could take, could, could turn a person like Nagami. Cosplaying could... I understand cosplaying takes a lot of work. Cosplaying does... It does take a toll on someone. But if you don't find a reason why why you love cosplaying, then you shouldn't cosplay. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Now, me personally, I think cosplaying is fun. It's a way to embrace yourself. It is a way to to find your inner... Your, your inner... Your inner child, you know what I mean? Like, like if you want to dress up as your character, go right ahead. Don't let no one stop you. Don't let no one make. Don't let no one make fun of you. If you like cosplaying, go for it. So as my Mayuri Senpai was leaving the stage, just for enough to really suck to come out. I like how that funny moment when she's like, "Okay, okay, I'm done, done. Now I'm gonna go to my my teacher form." Really suck came out. When she came out, it draw attention. Now everybody don't know who she who she is. And I get that because nobody don't follow the show. Nobody don't follow uh, Lily. You know, nobody don't follow her. There's a few, like, like let's say 2% of the, 2 to 10% of the nation knows where she's from. Well, others don't. So, and I like how she put that dark off in the wings. And it just embraced the love for all fans. And everyone was taking photos of her. Even if they didn't know about it. And that's the thing. She was smiling. The whole thing was to smile and bring the love of cosplaying. That's what I like about Rarissa. It's not about like, hey, you got more fans than me, but y'all yeah, want to smile. Like, I want to bring the love to, to the, the joy, the fun of cosplaying for everybody to see. They're like, there's different cosplay. There's different types of cosplaying things going on. But if you could embrace the love and all that, that's what it was. And that broke Nogami. I mean, Nogami. She finally realized why she loved cosplay. It wasn't about the fans. It's not about the fans. There are people who support you regardless. Sorry. And she lost sight of that. She just wanted cosplay. But now that now that she saw Rarissa, it's like... I mean, now she saw Rarissa just as Lily. It's like she has finally saw the smile that that she lost. And because of that... Nagami is finally able to smile inside. She's like, I love cosplaying. Now she knows why she loves cosplaying. 
to make people smile, to to have fun, be yourself, and that's what it was. And for Verissa to come out there and show her just how fun it is, that's what it was, and I like it. But overall, though, this was an intense episode. It wasn't just about, it was a tense episode between two, like, this was more like passing of the torch. Like, Mari Senpai, like, she gonna, she's still gonna cosplay. We all gonna see her. But this is more like, this is the passing of the torch. Passing the knowledge of everything cosplaying to the next. From millennials, I mean, uh, Genex to millennials. This is the old passing the, the baton and said, here you go. Make cosplay great again. Make cosplay fun. Make cosplay more lovable for everybody to see on a regular basis what, this, what it is. That's what it was. And I love that. I love that. Even Rivers went out in the blaze of glory, just giving off the fans, the loving it. And Nagumi has stepped up as now she realized what it is to be a cosplayer. And this episode has showed me that cosplaying can be fun, but it'll also be stressful. But if you have a reason to love cosplaying, this is this time for you to do it. But again, this was a tense episode. I loved it. I wasn't wearing my this because I support the show. And again, 24 episodes is going to be a very catchy way for me to do videos of this one, but I'll give it a try. So stay tuned for next week's episode of 2.5 Dimensional Seduction, and I'll see you soon.